So our focus today is really working on that hip mobility in connection with that knee joint. So really setting ourselves up with a solid foundation for those everyday life activities. By focusing on that knee, we can really open up that hip and get into some really awesome yoga poses. Let's start standing, feet hip width distance apart and just roll those shoulders back and down. Find a little breath, a little micro bend in those knees and just open those palms forward for mountain pose. So settling that body, grounding the feet, and on that next inhale, grab that right knee into that chest. So finding that balance, beautiful. Drop that right hand to grab that ankle and we're gonna let that knee drop. From here, if you have that balance, go ahead and take that left hand back and open up that chest. You can get a little squeeze in that right glute to get a nice stretch in the front of that hip. One more deep breath in and out. And slowly drop that right foot in front of you, flexing that foot. We'll bend that left and hinge forward to reach for those toes. Getting a stretch in that hamstring. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, a little bit lower down. And on that next inhale, we'll rise those hands up. Step that foot back. Exhale, drop the arms down. Beautiful, other side. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, shift the weight. Grab that left knee into that chest. Give it a good hug. Find that balance first. And then slowly take that left hand to that ankle. Drop that knee down. And if you're ready, take that right hand to meet it. Squeeze that tush. Nice stretch in the front. Nice open chest. Feeling tall in that spine. Breathing. Beautiful, slowly releasing that leg, sending it forward, flexing that foot, reach for those toes. So a lot of shifting, a lot of balancing. If you're ready, take those hands down, get a little deeper. One more inhale, exhale it out. And on that next inhale, step it in, arms come up. Exhale, swan, dive it forward. Leading with that chest. Halfway lift, flat back. From here, we'll bend the knees, reach those arms forward, plant them, and step it back, down dog. So from here, you can take a little pedal in those feet. Beautiful, slowly walk the toes together. And on that next exhale, press the heels down and that tailbone up towards the sky. Beautiful. Keep that left foot planted. Inhale that right leg all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to chest and find a hover. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, shift it forward. Now from here, take that foot towards that left side of the mat. We'll drop that foot down and take it back into a pigeon. So try and square off those hips, getting a nice stretch in that hip socket. Take a little breath right here. Now from here, we're gonna reach that left arm all the way up and back to reach for that left foot. So if you need a towel, go ahead and use that. If not, just play with this knee. And if you're a little bit more flexible, you can hook it in to that elbow. Embracing that stretch. Now, if you'd like to take it into that king pigeon, reaching that right arm all the way up to that, meet that left hand. Opening up that chest, take two deep breaths in and out right here. Keeping those hips square. Last breath right here. And on that exhale, slowly releasing the hand, letting that back leg drop. Place the hands down, tuck that back toe, and press back to that down dog. Start to pedal the feet right here. And on that exhale, press both heels down. 
On that inhale, left leg all the way up towards the sky. Shift that knee into the chest. Beautiful, exhale, press it back. Inhale, shift it forward, knee into that chest. Find that hover. Now take that foot to that right side, plant it down and step it back for that pigeon. So first setting yourself up in this pigeon, embracing that stretch first. And then when you're ready, take that right arm all the way up and back, grabbing that foot. You can play around with this knee joint first. Find that stretch and if you'd like, take it into that elbow. Breathing right here, keeping both hips in line. If you're ready, take it into that keen pigeon. Left arm all the way back, grabbing that right hand, breathing, keeping that chest nice and open. So just in yoga, finding that breath in these stressful positions. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly releasing the hands, dropping that back leg, tuck that foot, take it into that down dog. Beautiful, pedal those feet out again. And on that exhale, press the heels down. From here, we'll lift up onto the toes and then drop the knees into this tabletop position. Find a seat. So, we'll work on our right leg first and then transition into our left. So this left leg is going to stay planted, but you can have it parallel with the front of the mat and flex that bottom foot. We'll take our right arm underneath that right leg, squeezing it into the chest and rise that knee and that heel up. So from here, I'm just working on taking it side to side. So you'll feel this in that hip joint because the knee does not move side to side, right? <laughs> so this is mostly that hip. Now from here, let's take that left hand on the sole of the foot and as you exhale, think of reaching that heel towards the body. Inhale, ease it away. Again, exhale it closer. Inhale away. Two more, exhale and inhale. Find a length and still in that spine as you do this. On this next one, keep it in towards the chest. And if you'd like, hook underneath that leg. If you don't wanna do that and get a little bit deeper, you can keep that arm where it's at and take this left arm, placing that foot in that elbow as well, interlock the hands. And we're just cradling this leg, rocking side to side. So this is option two. Again, option one was just underneath. Either one is fine. One more deep breath, feeling nice and long in that spine. And then we'll slowly release, planting it directly on that bottom leg. So we are now in this fire log. Both feet are flexed and they're both straight parallel with our front of the mat. You can plant those hands on the knee, the ankle, lift up in the spine, and then exhale it forward. Inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, forward fold. So two more, just working in this mobility, deepening this stretch. Last one, and we'll hold down at the bottom. You can reach those hands out in front, for a little deeper stretch, maybe even dropping onto those forearms. Two more breaths right here. And on that next inhale, slowly walking it up, we will switch sides. So if you want to windshield wiper those legs side to side, planting those feet, just drop the knees side to side, loosen it up again. And we'll go to the other side. So right leg first, we'll flex that foot and make that shin parallel with the front of our mat. Next, that left arm is hooking into that thigh and just simply taking that foot side to side. Getting a little bit mobility in that hip. 
feeling nice and strong and straight in that spine. Beautiful, getting this a little deeper. So right hand on the sole of the foot, exhaling closer, inhale, release. Again, exhale it close to that body, deepening that stretch, and inhale nice and easy away. One more of these. And on that next exhale, hold it in. So remember, option one, hooking underneath that leg, rocking side to side, or keeping it in those elbows. So foot and knee in the elbow, interlock those hands, still nice and tall in that spine, just rocking side to side. So find that breath. Allow those muscles to open up. Beautiful, one more deep breath in and out. And then we'll place this leg right on top of the other. Flexing both feet, both legs are in line. Planting those hands on the knee, the ankle, and reaching forward with that spine. And coming nice and easy back up. Again, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head all the way back up. Two more. Exhaling forward. Inhaling up. Go with your breath. Last one. On that exhale, take it down and hold. You can reach those arms forward, deepening that stretch. Even drop onto those forearms. One more deep breath right here. And slowly walk it back. Undo those legs. Windshield wiper one more time, side to side. Beautiful. Now from here, we'll cross our feet, take our hands forward and step it back into that plank. From this plank, exhale back into that down dog. Rise onto the toes, bend the knees, take the gaze forward and step or hop it forward. From here, just rolling up one vertebrae at a time. And we're gonna make our way into lotus pose. So all this hip opening and knee mobility, let's put it into play. So find your focus, your balance. When you're ready, slowly bring that right knee into the chest. From here, we'll grab that ankle with the left hand and let the knee drop. So you want this foot pointed high up in that thigh and press that knee back. If you're not there yet, you can just take that right hand into the chest. If you're ready, take the other one to meet at heart center. So keep this activation, keep pressing that knee back and open. Now from here, extend those branches any way you'd like. Maybe it's here, it's a little loose, a little open. You have freedom. So breathing right here. And slowly bring those hands into heart center. We'll bend and drop that right leg. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Give it a big hug first, pointing that foot. Right hand grabs that ankle and release that knee down. Taking this foot high up in that thigh, keep pressing that knee back and open. And again, one hand at a time if you'd like, or two hands into heart center. Keep breathing, lengthening through the spine, pressing those shoulders down. And then from here, you can reach those arms up if you're ready, feeling nice and grounded and open. Beautiful, one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring those hands into heart center and slowly lower that left leg down. Thank you so much for joining me today. Always an option for Shavasana. Take a time, relax the body, let the muscles regroup and restore. If not, I will see you next time and enjoy your day. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, 
guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. 